Hello and welcome everyone. And yes, so um yeah. Moon Crane. Well, it's going to go to Minmus. I should say uh Minmus Crane. Now, I did construct a little bit of this cuz it takes a little bit of time. So, uh I'm not going to go over everything. So, as you can see, uh we have the I beams that run all the way down to these little nodes each one and then the, they run down you have the truss for support and um, yeah I gotta connect another one here because uh, apparently I didn't do that now some of you might be wondering like what is the purpose of something so ungodly big what is what is the purpose of something like this and um, what I will say is that um, you'll see um, it's it's not really a secret it's you know none of that kind of I don't, I don't like to play secrets on my subscribers or anything along those lines but um all I can say is moon base number two min miss and this one is going to be epic um, I do have a lot of plans on it and a lot of ideas that I'm working on and uh, yeah it's more of, uh, you know, it's really different. I did come up with a design for the new moon base, and um, it is a lot different than anything I've created before, and also it's a lot easier, surprisingly, you know, because, you know, you, you guys remember me building these things, um, and how I would complain about, you know, X, Y, and Z all the time being such a problem. Well, all I can say is most of those kinks have been worked out. And, uh, you know, I don't really need to do a Kerbin test because I used to Kerbin test a lot of my stuff just to make sure that, uh, you know, it all works out. And, um, yeah, no, I don't really need to do a Kerbin test for this moon base. Um, one of the things I will say is I did Kerbin test this because I ended up di um, building one of these a long time ago and there was one major problem that kind of set me back with all of it and some of you might ask what well uh, considering the one I built beforehand was roughly give or take uh, I don't know probably 350 parts just the crane itself not the actual launching platform and all that other stuff um it became more and more unfeasible as time went on and the more I added on to it and the more I perfected it it got down to the point where it was just silly to even consider the idea of doing something like that so I decided that I need to do this again and I need to do it the right way um, you can see I have my my landing platform kind of you know the style uh, this seems like it works really well. I'm not really going to make any changes to this. I'm going to be using this probably for every one of my landers or my rovers. It, it really works very well. Uh, I can get rid of these. Um, but yeah, it's, it's been, everything's been pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm sorry for my rant in the last episode. I just been getting really run down with a lot of things and it has been somewhat hard to maintain a constant stream of videos and it, it's just uh you know it like it gets down to the point where it starts to like really mess with you you know it, it's not like in a bad way or in a good way or any of those kinds of ways take it as you want um i just uh you know i, I kind of you know it, i felt like i needed a break but the real truth behind it was I just, I was, you know, cranky and tired. Um, sometimes I just get cranky and tired, and you guys, you have to understand, you know, um, it's a little taxing on my schedule, along with um, a lot of things, just coming up with these videos, and coming up with ideas for you guys, new ideas and strange things that you otherwise would have never seen or thought of. Um, now I did work, like I said, I did work over this design already, 
Um, I tried a lot of little different things, and this seems to be the, about the best working one out of all of them, and I'm going to probably stick with something along these lines, and I was looking for something. Uh, I always lose this thing. I never can just find it. It's always, like, hidden. Oh. Yeah, so I'm going to... Uh, one thing I do recommend is always equip your new rovers, and this is going for anybody who ever makes a rover. Always equip it with these uh, thermic generators because the best part about it is is that it replenishes your power no matter what whether it likes you or whether it doesn't like you you can use it day or night doesn't matter um, a lot of people don't really realize nor use them and um, you know I was kind of the same way with it as well and uh, as time went on I've kind of realized that it's a very useful thing to have on your rovers it's always very extremely useful to have now um, I'm thinking I might make a slight change of my rover compared to the last one and it's nothing too huge I just want to get I always hate working with really big objects like this because then you can't actually zoom in on a lot of things I want to try to What's wrong? I can't go straight out. It's always kind of hard to work with some of these things. It's just the nature of working with strange designs. And I'll put that there for now. And then I'm going to delete it. If I can even click it. Oh, God. Hardest thing. Control Z, I believe it is. Yeah, there we go. Oh God, I think I lost uh, a strut here. <laughs> oh God. There we go. Yeah, master of struts. Am I going to actually have to rip this thing apart just to get this one out? Um, come on. The hardest thing ever, clicking on your struts after you place them. I think I'm just going to uh, go ahead and just forget about it, whatever. Oh, God. Oh, well, yeah, that will be another kink I'll have to work out off of camera. But, for now, um, yeah, Moon Crane. And, uh, yeah, well, no, I should say Minmus Crane. Um, the only thing I forgot to add is I put struts here and here, you know, that run, that run along the wheels here, and that's just for extra support. But, basically, what this thing can lift is just unbelievably large amounts of loads. And... What you end up doing is building like a hab module with le landing legs. You lift the, you pull this thing over the top of it. You lift the landing legs, and this thing will pick it up. Yeah, and then you can move it basically wherever you want, whenever you want. Um, there is another way to do it too, and it's basically my old way of doing it, which is pulling up underneath it and lifting it. And I'm not going to do that at least for now. But if I do need a lifter instead of a carrier, then I will end up building one of those and I will show you how to build one. And what exactly processes are going in to actually designing one in order to lift a specific object and like the trial and error involved in a sense. But anyways guys, um, Moon Crane, amazing stuff, yes. Anyways, um, if you haven't already, subscribe to me on, you know, YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you got. I always post the uh, latest updates for my Kerbal Space Program episodes for all you new people. Welcome, and yes, check those out. Um, check out the Kerbal Space Program wiki and all that other stuff. And yeah, I will see you next time.